One of those groups is the military. Shortly after the FDA's approval, the Pentagon said they will issue guidance to make the vaccine mandatory for the armed services. Earlier this morning, the FDA gave the official thumbs up for Pfizer's two-dose vaccination, bringing the strongest endorsement for the drug in the U.S. The vaccine received emergency use approval last December, and since then, more than 200 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine have been administered in the U.S. The United States is the first country to fully approve one of the vaccines that are being used to help fight against COVID-19 and its variants. Just a little over half of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated as COVID cases continue to rise. Across the country, hospital beds are filling up. Already, Chicago Public Schools mandated that all employees must be vaccinated for the school year. And during a media press conference earlier this morning, the members of the FDA said they hope the approval will encourage more to get the vaccine. We know that vaccine approval holds the promise of altering the course of the pandemic in the United States, and that for some, an FDA-approved COVID vaccine may instill in them the confidence to go and get vaccinated. Now, that approval does not affect Pfizer's third dose of the vaccine. Right now, the company is working to get that approved for those who are already vaccinated. Also, we're expecting to hear from President Biden on Pfizer's full vaccination later today. In the newsroom, Glenn Marshall, WGN News.